how to become a freelance video editor this 2021? Find out in this video. Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is John and I make videos about freelancing, content creation, and personal development. This video is part one of a series I am calling the Freelance Video Editor Starter Kit. In this series, we'll talk about how to get started as a freelance video editor. So we'll be talking about number one, the tools and the software that you need to actually get started. Second is how do you get your first client and how do you get more clients? And lastly, the secret sauce to retaining your video editing clients. So if you're excited for this series, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you will be informed when the next parts of this series will come out. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So in this video, we'll talk about the tools, the software, basically the technical aspect of how you can get started as a freelance video editor. And the number one thing that we need is a video editing rig. So whether that be a desktop or a laptop, you need a computer to be able to edit videos. Now with yung technology natin ngayon, it's very much possible to be able to edit videos just using your mobile phone or a tablet. But in my opinion, if you're doing professional video editing work for clients, then you have to use a desktop or a laptop. Yung mobile and yung tablet editing is good if you're doing it for family or friends or some personal connections in your network. But if you're doing it professionally, then I highly suggest, I highly recommend that you edit using a personal computer, be it a desktop or a laptop. Editing on a computer just gives you a lot more control and gives you a better chance of a high quality output for your clients. Now to give you an idea of the specs that you need to get started on your video editing rig, I'm gonna flash my own specs that I use for my video editing freelancing business. Now take note, I didn't start right off the bat with that specs for my video editing rig. Slowly ko siyang in upgrade. I started with upgrading my RAM and then my video editing card and so on and so on. So you don't need the highest specs to get started. You can slowly upgrade as you get more clients and as you grow your freelance video editing business. On the screen right now is my recommended specs for a starter PC that you can get for an affordable price. And over time, you can slowly upgrade your specs as you get more clients. Now, how do you decide between a desktop or a laptop? Well, laptop is basically great when you're always on the move, when you're always traveling to different locations. Super convenient yeah, to bring around like it's a backpack mo, so you can edit videos wherever you are. However, it won't be as powerful as a desktop computer. Personally, I use both. Pero nakong desktop dito sa bahay, the one that you see behind me, and I also have a laptop to use when I'm on the go. And when I say on the go, I just mean my parents' house, kasi pumunta kami dun every weekend to visit. As for the laptop, I personally use a MacBook Air M1. So far in the three months that I've been using this laptop, okay naman siya for video editing. However, yung Adobe Premiere Pro is not native yet to the new Mac M1 chip. So, okay lang siya for simple timelines, yung mga simple video files. But when I start to layer several video files on top of each other, medyo nag slow down na siya. So, hopefully, Premiere Pro will have a native version on M1 soon. So basically, if you're the type of person who is on the go all the time or you don't want to be stuck to a table like this in your room, then I highly recommend you get a laptop. But if okay lang sa'yo to be in your desktop or in your house or in your room all the time, then a desktop is definitely the way to go. So now that we have our video editing rig, we're gonna need software to be able to edit videos. Now, personally, I use Premiere Pro. It's a monthly subscription from Adobe Creative Cloud. And the main reason that I use Premiere Pro is because it's the first thing that I learned aside from iMovie. And I've been using it ever since. So maybe down the line, I'll try something else. But for now, I'm happy using Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't want to pay for video editing software just yet, there are many free options out there. One option that I recommend and I personally use as well for some other videos is DaVinci Resolve. 
So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below where you can get or download DaVinci Resolve. Now there are many more free video editing software out there. Do your research and take your time and test out which software works best with your style. Number three, super fast, blazing internet speed. Now, of course, as online freelancers, internet is a must have for us to be able to do our work, to be able to grow our business. But as freelance video editors, we need that extra oomph on our internet speed to be able to handle large video files. Me personally, I'm using a local internet service provider here in our area of Cagayan de Oro City. My internet speed is around 50 to 100 Mbps. Now, trust me, you're gonna need that speed because again, as I mentioned, since we are dealing with large video files, mauubos yung oras mo downloading and uploading these files if you have a slow internet speed. I would recommend at least the bare minimum 20 Mbps. Number four, cloud storage solution. Whether that be Google Drive or Dropbox or any other cloud storage that you prefer, we're gonna need online storage to be able to send and receive files from our clients. Personally, I use a combination of Google Drive and Dropbox. Both have free options up to a certain amount of storage, but trust me, you're gonna need more than that. So check out each one and take a look at which you prefer. Number five, graphic design slash stock photo slash stock video slash graphics software. Now, personally, I use the paid version of Canva because inside of Canva, you have stock photos, stock videos, graphics. It has everything that I need to add to my video editing. So, Shepra, when we're editing videos, we're gonna add text, we're gonna add graphics, we're gonna add videos, we're gonna add photos. We're gonna need all these elements to help tell the story of the video. And Canva has all of these elements built into one software. I also use Canva to make thumbnails for my YouTube videos and for the YouTube videos of my clients. So it's really a no-brainer investment for me because I'm all to help me make my videos better. And the great thing about Canva is that it's always upgrading, always adding new features and tools to help make the software better, which is great for us content creators and freelancers. So highly recommend you check out Canva. It does have a free option, although limited to photos and videos that you can use and some of the features. But I think it would be a great start or great complement for your video editing. That's it. Those are the main tools that you need to get started as a freelance video editor. Some other accessories that you might need that I recommend is a webcam. I actually made a video about Red Dragon Hitman. Check it out in the link in the description below if you want to learn more. Also, you're going to need a headset and a microphone to be able to communicate with your prospective clients on Zoom calls or to communicate with colleagues, fellow freelancers, or perhaps when you're building a team to communicate with your team as well. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to actually get your first freelance video editing client. We're going to talk about the strategies, the steps we need to take, what platforms we need to use, how to reach out to prospective clients. I'm going to help you do all that in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and watch out for that next video. In the meantime, check out this video on the screen right now to learn more about that freelance video editing life.